Hi everyone and welcome. I just wanted to come here today to do a little bit of a live coaching training for all of you who are interested and resonating with being here in this moment, whether you are watching this live or you're watching the replay on my feed. I want to talk about our dreams and our desires and the goals we have for our lives. Everyone has dreams, everyone has goals, everyone has desires. But the thing is that most of us are not willing to do what it takes for us to reach those goals, for us to reach those dreams, for us to make them a reality in our lives. And so sometimes we get super excited about something and we get super hyped up and super happy with it and super fired up. But then as time goes by, we just start like th that fire that we have starts loosening its strength. And so we start postponing, delaying, not feeling so motivated and inspired. And ultimately, we just give up. But you know what? If your dreams are that important to you, if your desires and your goals are that important to you, you will not give up you will realize that there are moments where you will feel more inspired than others, moments where you feel more motivated than others, but that you're focused on your goal, on your dream, on your desire. And so even when you lack the motivation, even when you lack the inspiration, you keep going and you don't give up. You do that for yourself and you are consistent every day with your actions. So what is something that you have been wanting to manifest in your life that you know you're not taking action towards it? That you know you could be doing so much more towards it? And you know what? Maybe you're tired. Maybe you feel unmotivated. But let me offer a perspective. Maybe the reason why you are unmotivated, it's not because you are doing too much or that you're stressed because you're doing too much. It's because you're doing too little. You're doing too little about it. And you know this. I know you can feel this in your heart. You know that this is true for you. You are doing too little of the things that light you up. You are doing too little of the things you know you need to do to take you where you want to go. And so, my dear, I am here to be a mirror and an inspiration to propel you into action. What is the action that you are delaying and postponing? What is it that you know you need to do, but you're not doing because you're too scared? You feel that you're not ready right now. You feel that you're not enough right now. You feel that you're not worthy right now. But if not now, please tell me when. When will you be ready? When will you be worthy? When? And only you choose when you are ready. Only you choose when it is time. So what will you choose? What will you choose while watching this live? What will you choose after closing this video? Will you remain the same or will you take some action towards your dream? Please don't expect your dreams to just happen. You know, we talk a lot about the law of attraction, the law of assumption and manifestation and all these things in the spiritual community and in the conscious community today and nowadays. But you know what? You know what is the biggest form of attraction and the biggest form of prayer and the biggest form of manifestation is your action. So what are you actually doing? What are you actually doing to take action towards your dreams and towards your goals? And please know that this is the difference between the 99% of people who fail and never do anything in their lives and just conform to a 9 to 5, for example, and the 1% who actually move through the discomfort of taking action consistently that are ready to learn as they go, to make mistakes and learn from them and to keep going. This is the difference between the 99% of people who fail and the 1% of people who actually succeed. Do you think it was easy for them, the people who succeed? Do you see all these people on social media who have this massive uh, success and this massive impact on the world? Do you think it was easy for them? 
Are you that naive to believe that it was easy for them? That it happened in one instance, in one moment? Or do you realize that that took action? Not only action, but consistency and persistence in their action. That they learned and that they made mistakes and they kept learning and they kept going. They did not give up. They had a vision, a dream, a desire, a goal, and they did not give up until they reached that goal, they reached that dream, they reached that desire. So what about you? Are you so swayed by your emotions and like your lack of inspiration and motivation? Or do you realize that the dream that you have, your goal is the only motivation you need? That is the only focus that you need to keep going. Yes, you will be uncomfortable sometimes. Yes, you will be very, very uncomfortable sometimes. But it's worth it because it's your dream. And no one can make it real besides yourself. Only you can make your dreams come true. But you don't make your dreams come true by just wishing for them to come true. You need to become the person who is actually living those dreams. You become that person by taking action every single day. And whenever you find yourself lacking the motivation, lacking the motivation and the inspiration and not taking action, you just keep going. You remind yourself of your goal. You remind yourself of your dream. You remind yourself of why you want it. Why do you want to achieve this? Why do you want your life to change? Why? What is your why? And your why is your fire. Your why is your target. Your why is your focus. Your why is your motivation. And it is all the motivation and all the inspiration that you need. You need anything else. You don't need to keep watching videos. You don't need to keep consuming other people's content. You need to take action. You need to become that person. And only when you become that person, you will be able to then inspire others to take action as well. Please remember you become that person by taking action. It doesn't just happen. You don't just wake up in your dream life all of a sudden. You become that person by taking action every single day, even when, if it's, when it's uncomfortable, even when you don't feel like it. Even when you are so uncomfortable comfortable that you would rather shrink back into your cocoon. But only when your cocoon and your comfort zone becomes uncomfortable and restrictive instead of comfortable, that's when you start taking action. That's when you start to do something different. Because until then, you will feel comfortable in your cocoon. You will feel comfortable in your little shell. And you will stay there because it's familiar, because it's comfortable. Only when you are uncomfortable enough in your own comfort, in your own familiarity, you will start making changes. And you know what? Changes don't happen just like that. You make the change in this day and you make a change in the other moment and you make the change in the other day and you keep taking action, you keep making the changes and you realize that if you keep making the same choices that you were making until this moment, that those choices will lead you to exactly where you already are. And if you want to be somewhere different than in where you have been until now, you need to do something different. Please, this is so simple, so, so simple. If you want to be somewhere different from where you are, you need to start doing things differently. If you're always taking the same action, going on the same routines, doing the same things, you will only arrive to where you have already arrived. Your life will not change. The, the where you are right now is a reflection and an accumulation of all the actions you took that led you to this moment, to this place. And so, my dear, if you're starting to become uncomfortable in your comfort zone, start taking action about it. Start doing things differently and realize no one can do it for you and realize that nothing is going to come to save you. Nothing is going to come to change your life for you. Nothing will change your life for you. Nothing. It has to be you, my dear. And only when you realize that you actually are the chosen one. You are the one in your life 
You are the most important person in your reality. Only when you realize that you will bring all your power back to yourself and you will stop looking externally for validation, for inspiration, for motivation, for whatever. And you will find that motivation and that inspiration inside yourself. In your own discomfort, you find your motivation. In your own discomfort, you will find your focus, your target, and you will reach your goals the more you take action towards it. Just realize no one can come into your life and save your ass. No, is, no one is going to come to save your ass. It has to be you. You get to be the one to make the changes. You get to be the one to get out of your comfort zone and do things differently. And you are doing it for yourself because you are no longer comfortable in your comfort zone. Only when the caterpillar has had enough of its cocoon, it starts uh, expanding and growing its wings. But if you're comfortable as a little caterpillar in your cocoon that is very gooey and very cozy and comfortable, you will stay there. So my dear, I'm asking you, are you comfortable in your comfort zone? Are you happy where you are? Or do you actually want more of your life? Do you want more for yourself? It's your decision. If you're happy and comfortable where you are, that's great. Stay there. But if you are uncomfortable and if you are ready to change, realize that you need to change. You need to make the changes. No one can make those changes for you. Remember that if you keep taking the same routes, the same routes, however you say that, the same streets, you will arrive at the same destination. Only when you do something different, only when you start taking different actions and making changes in your daily routine, only then you will start seeing different movement. You will start seeing different results. And please remember that it's not just about your goal, your desire, your dream life. It's not just about the external things that you will gain. It's about who you will become. It's about who you will become. Because yes, we have all of these desires of external things we want to experience in our life and we want to have, and that's amazing. But you know what? When you die, you only take yourself. You only take yourself. You can leave a legacy. You can leave an empire. You can leave resources and structures and inspiration for other people, but you only take yourself. And so remember also that your goals and your dreams and all the things you want to manifest, accomplish and have, that's amazing. But it's about the person you become. And only when you start becoming that person, those things start coming in into your life. But if you keep shrinking, if you keep hiding, if you keep being afraid to get out of your comfort zone because it's uncomfortable then nothing will change and you will be like the rest of the world, the 99% of the world who are uncomfortable in their comfort, but they accept that discomfort. They accept it. They accept that it's familiar and they choose to not change. And they have all these justifications why life is so hard, why they are victims, why they cannot do this, why they cannot do that, why only other people can change their lives because they have more luck than them, more resources than them, more opportunities than them, more people around them, they live in a different country, they blah, 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 blah. No, we all know that so many successful people were in places that are so much worse than the place you are in right now. You are already privileged wherever you are. There is no excuse for you to not reach your goals and your dreams and your desires. There is no true excuse. If you want to stay there, then that's great. And you can stay there. It's your life. It's your choice. But if you want more, stop making excuses. Realize that it's going to get uncomfortable. It's going to get uncomfortable. 
But you know what? Soon enough, that discomfort will start to become comfortable again. It's like, for example, going to the gym. And when you start going, it's really uncomfortable and you really don't want to be there and you don't know what to do and like, argh, you don't like to be there. But the more you go and the more you go and you put yourself through that discomfort, the more comfortable it gets, the more familiar it gets. You watch people on social media and you wish you were like them. You wish you were showing up as well. But if you don't take action and embrace that discomfort of like being on camera and like, being weird and cringy sometimes and like blah, 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 talking on camera and whatever, then you will never move past that step. You will never move past that test and realize that your dreams, your desires, your goals are on the other side of all these steps you need to take. And so if you take one step and you're like, oh, this is too much, I can't do it anymore, then you will stay on the level of that step. But if you keep going and you embrace the discomfort of taking the next step and the next step and the next step, soon enough, you will reach that goal, that target, that dream. You will find yourself living that life, but only when you start taking action towards it. And then the things that were once uncomfortable for you, the things that you were dreading to do the most, become fun, become easy, become magical, become your passion, become who you now are, become who you are becoming. So my dear, what is it that you want to accomplish in your life? You know, the, like that we do the New Year's resolutions. Did you do that in the beginning of this year? What were your resolutions for this year and have you accomplished them? And it's okay. It's okay to acknowledge where you are. It's okay to acknowledge and be uncomfortable with the choices you have made so far that led you to this moment. It's okay to embrace that discomfort because again, that discomfort is the fire that will propel you into action, into making the necessary changes. And so every day is a perfect day to make changes. Every day is a perfect day to make New Year's resolutions, new life resolutions. You can start wherever you are. You can start wherever you are. And there is no excuse for you, my dear. I'm sorry. There is no excuse. You're not less than anyone else. You're not a victim more than anyone else. You are not unworthy or not enough compared to anyone else. No, you are just as capable, just as worthy, just enough. And you are ready whenever you decide to be ready. So what will you choose to do? It's your choice. And this, this has been my greatest passion in the last few months. This is what I've been focusing my energy on to share with you this transformation that only happens through your consistent action. And so for the last few months, I've been telling you that I've been working on something like a secret project. I've been working on an online course to help you take consistent action, to stop making excuses for yourself, to realize that you are ready and capable and worthy of everything you desire and everything you want to accomplish. But for that, you need to take responsibility for your life and you need to start to make changes and actions that are congruent and aligned with that which you desire to become. So I have created this online container that is not only an online course that I'm still adding value to, but also an online community where you get to shift and change with other people. So you have accountability partners and you have other people going through changes where you don't have to do it alone. We do it together. I cannot do the changes in your life for you, but I can walk with you. I can walk with you. And I can support you. 
and this is why I'm here. So whether you want to do it by yourself, join our course and membership community, or have coaching and mentorship with me to propel you into action towards your dreams, to stop making excuses, to start making changes, reach out to me, send me a DM, and let's freaking do this. And again, I cannot do it for you. And I'm not here to convince you to follow your goals and your dreams and to do something about it. That is your job. I am here to show you that I am available, that I have resources and tools and things that can support you on your journey. But I'm not here to convince you to go after your dreams and your goals. No, that fire is your own. That fire is your own. And so if you do want it, and if you are ready, I'm here and reach out to me and let's work together. And if you want to do it by yourself, by all means, do it by yourself. And if you want to stay in your comfort zone and never make any changes and just stay where you are, then you're free to do that as well. This is the message that I wanted to share with you today. Thank you so much. And I will see you on the next one.